Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in today's video it's going to be a guide on how to go about installing the chrome deletes for the grill and for the door and the chrome deletes for the hood here piece as well. This is how it looks before installing the pieces on the grill and on the door and this is how it looks after the installation. And if you like how the product looks, link for the product will be down in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before starting the installation, we want to make sure we clean the chrome pieces. That way there's no contaminants getting on the film during the installation. So to start off the installation, we're going to start out with this piece first. So you're just going to align it to the edge here. Just make sure when you're aligning it, you are covering the chrome. So just go like that. Align it, and then just finish it off here too. So you are going to notice you do have excess material. The material you could either tuck in or just trim off with your blade. And right here we're just going to apply a little bit of heat. That way the decal starts molding to the inside of the trim. Now for this piece, you are going to have excess material. You could either trim it off or just leave it as is and tuck it in. It'll be up to you, but if you do trim off, just be careful. Make sure you trim off only the vinyl and not scratch the chrome here. And then just continue on with the other installation. With this one, you're going to want to start off here. We separated the pieces. That way you're able to curve the film more better. So just start off by aligning it here. And then just follow the trim. And like that. And just start tacking down. And I'd say do the same thing on the other side. That way, once we finish both ends, we install this one and it overlaps perfectly onto each piece. So with this one, it is gonna overlap on top of both of these. So just make sure you match it right in the middle first. And then once you have it in one spot, make your way to one end first. So just tack down, align it, and just like that. And then do the same to that end. So just lift the film. Make sure you're not pulling too hard. Just lift it and help it align. Start tacking down with your squeegee. Okay, now we're just gonna apply heat to seal off the edges that's lifting. Okay, so before starting the installation, clean off the chrome pieces that we were installing. This piece, I'm gonna leave it as is because it does have tint on it right now, but it, it will be the same procedure. It's just aligning it here and tagging down and just trimming off any excess material. So same steps we do here, we're gonna, you would do here to cover up this piece if you don't have tint. Align it to this edge, make sure you're covering the chrome. Once you have it in the position, just start tacking down as you go. Make sure it's aligned. And with this one, you can open the hood if you want, if you're, if you're going to tuck in. Or if you're just trimming, you could open it as well to make it easier. But for this installation, we're just going to tuck in. So just tuck in. And right here we have excess material, so we're just going to trim it off. And then just apply heat. And now you just move on with the rest of the install. Make sure you clean the chrome. If you're going to tuck in, clean on the inside too. And it's nothing too crazy, it's just aligning like any other chrome. Align it to where you need it to align on the edge here. Then you can start tagging down the rest of the film. And just squeegee. And it's just aligning. And just the usual thing. Align, tag down and then trim or tuck in and then heat to seal it off and 
And then the same steps we did for this door, you're just gonna do the same rinse and repeat for this piece. Once you're done, you move on with the last piece on the back. So for this one, just make sure you clean before installing. Make sure it's dry. And then with this one, there's not really a right or wrong way to installing it. It's just more as you go, make sure you just cover everything. So you can start off here, but there are gonna be times where once you place it, you might need to keep removing the film and adjusting it to your liking. So just make sure as long as you're doing it, be careful not to rip the film and just go at your own pace. So just remember, align, curve it down, and if you see that everything's aligned, you can move on with the next piece. The same here, lift if you need to. Follow the chrome trim. And just like that. And then once you have it, start squeegeeing and then trimming off any excess material or tucking in any material that you see. And you thing with deep curves like this one and on the grill, just apply a little bit of heat and the vinyl should start molding to the curve here. And then just trim off any excess material. Make sure you find where the, the chrome ends and then just trim it off. So that concludes the installation video for the chrome lead, for the grill, and for the windows for the 2021 Hyundai Sonata. Like I said, there's not really a correct way to go about it. It's just more of just you placing it how you like it, making sure it's aligned, and then just either trimming off or tucking in any excess material that you might have. And making sure before installing, that everything is clean and there's no dirt or any contaminants on the chrome because then if it's not clean the material start, will start lifting over time even after you apply heat so you have to make sure that everything is clean we hope this video helped you guys out with the installation please make sure to give a video a like make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell that way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video